Well, Carlos, the stats will tell you that this is not an easy place to come and get a result, but that second half performance, your team made it look so easy. What did you make of it? We know that uh, we knew before the game that today play here would be a competitive test for us because on the last, I think, 10 games, we, we don't count the last one against Leeds, uh, that they lost 2-0 two, two zero, uh, or 0-2. Zero they didn't lose any of the games in the last 10, 10 games, I think, playing at home in the league. So it means that from October, they didn't have a defeat at home. So we know that will be a place where we need to be very focused and very concentrated in ourselves to come with the three points. What was the change at the break, Carlos? Because the first half was very tight and cagey, wasn't it? But the second half, we completely dominated. I think that sometimes with the pass of the minutes, we understand better the, the advantages that you can find in the pitch. And it was very important to never frustrate in any single moment, to keep insisting in the things that we were doing well. And, and to keep maturing the game and, of course, using the chances that we create. I think that we have created a lot of chances in the second half. And we could have scored the first goal before that we scored. And it was important just to insist in the right way today. Was it pleasing to see your side capitalise on one of the many set pieces that you won this evening with Cedric's first goal? We had a lot of set pieces situation in the first half and, and the way that you attack more, better, you create more chances. And it was important to, to use better all these possibilities that you have to score the goal, the transitions, the open play situation, and especially the set pieces, because we talk a lot. But it's a point that we still, it's a one game moment that we still want to improve, that because we think that can give us a lot of things. You brought Mikey Johnston on and he produced the goods for you tonight, Carlos. What a simply brilliant goal. Like I told you, in Santa we are watching just the first 11, but to compete in football, you need a, a very good players to start the games and a lot of very good players, first 11 players to in the events that can, in some moment of the game, make difference in the result. And just finally, there were about 1,100, 1,200 Albion fans that made the four-hour journey down. They've got a four-hour journey home now in the wet and the wind and the rain. What's your message to them tonight? Sometimes there are no words to, to say how thank you we are uh, to them for the support that that they were giving to us. I think they, they have showed today how committed they are with the club, how committed they are with the team, and the, that the difficulty is just part of the, that with the feeling that they have, with the love that they have for this club and for this team, they are able to, to beat any type of difficulty. So for us to have them here supporting the team today has been the, the best feeling to give the three points to them.